Fiery Dragon here, and today I wanted to talk about something that I really don't understand too much about, is people like going super crazy about the, the fidget spinners. I get it, it's supposed to be a way to keep kids from being distracted and stuff like that, but to me it's just kind of a way to kind of give in and, you know, get some money. It's like a cash cow kind of thing, a quick grab. Um, because growing up as a kid, you know, I didn't really have fidget spinners. We had Beyblades and other stuff to help keep ourselves occupied. Or if I was in school and really couldn't focus or concentrate, I would, you know, kind of twist my little pencil. And, you know, that was the cool thing to do at the time. Because, like, it's just something that you could play with. But yeah, it's just weird growing up nowadays and seeing all this stuff that people are starting to like, you know, do or use or be like, oh my gosh, it's a new it thing. It's the fidget spinner. It's so cool. When in reality, it's really just a toy that somebody made to, you know, get money from to be like, ha, huh, I just jipped like a bunch of parents and kids out of their money. Is how I feel about it. Um... You know, to me, if you really have, like, an issue with being in class and not having a whole lot to do, I would say, you know, find something that, you know, can keep you occupied. I kind of, like, used to shake my leg. Again, have a pencil to kind of twist or, you know, just, just try to find something to keep yourself focused. Even doodling can be focusing at times for me if I didn't really, you know, like it's stuff I already knew, I was like, okay, I can just kind of doodle and draw for a little bit. And I will have a separate video later on about doodling and how I feel about that, because I know a lot of people think doodling is kind of pointless or lame, and in reality, it's not. It's actually something that is very useful and very helpful to people, but a lot of times, People don't really see it that way. They see it more as like, oh, you're doodling and being distracting in class. And it's not not that great for people to be seeing it that way. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue drawing here. And it's just going to be a cute little anime character. Just going to try to draw and get on with that. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I know I understand that some people have a hard time sitting in class. I was that child. But, yeah. Find something that keeps you interested and occupied. Um, and I think that's another reason why I was so big into art and music and stuff at the time, is because it kept my attention, helped me focus, whatnot. It was just an easier way for me to be like, hey, this is cool stuff, and I can actually pay attention because it's stuff I'm interested in versus stuff that we kind of have to learn for a test that, you know, gets shoved down your throat and you have to intentionally just be like, okay, this sucks, but we got to learn this stuff for a test so that we can pass and it'll be super cool so that we don't fail and we can move on to college. But yeah, that's another thing about school is the whole testing systems, man. They just they didn't really make sense to me as to why you would have to test on some of the stuff that they did. It was just like, eh, it was okay. But it wasn't like, oh, this is going to be life-changing, life-altering things you really should know. It's not like they were teaching you to pay bills or how to be a responsible adult. It was like, let's get ready for the tax test. and. Nowadays, it's the stupid star test, or whatever other tests you got to take in your state, and it's like, <sighs> did it really teach us anything? No, it just taught us to basically pass a test that we kind of had to pass if we wanted to survive school. And that's just how I feel with a lot of testing. It's like, oh, let's cram all this information into your brain so you can just regurgitate it to me and I can grade you on re your regurgitation. And how well you regurgitated this stuff, so. Like, if it was me, I would rather have a test that actually meant to teach me something than something to be like, oh, you know, you did your best. Um, but yeah, it is what it is.
and like also for art again the whole testing thing to be able to be put in a higher grade like not even like grade be put in just like a higher class to learn a different art form is just like why would you do that to students why would you ever make it so that they have to take something and you know feel really bad afterwards for not like passing the test and having to stay stuck in their own little you know little thing of just oh I'm just in art one <laughs> versus I wanted to be in you know pottery or something else so that was always fun too and they're like oh you just have to take the art test and prove to us that you can do shading and stuff I'm like I can't but Shouldn't that be a thing where you, like, actually use an art portfolio to do that? You know, sh let me show you my skills. Let me, you know, do what I can do for that so you guys know that, hey, this is me. This is what I can do. Let me pass on to the next level so I'm not stuck perpetually in a class that I don't like. But that's just me. Um, and for other people, they'd probably be like, eh, it's okay, it's whatever, I took those tests, but to me, I just, I couldn't do that. To me, it was, like, kind of like an insult to my own intel intelligence at the time, and to this day, it's still kind of insulting to my own intelligence to be like, hey, you should take this test to prove you're worthy of passing to the next class. And I'm just like, no. Just no. I don't... Why? Just why. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, as a kid, drawing anime has just kind of been my thing. And I kind of credit myself for being good on that and being able to draw it pretty, pretty decent. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but it does take practice to do what you want to do in life. Um, but as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!